we interrupt with this breaking news. Scientists have figured out why ships disappear in the Bermuda Triangle. But first, we go to Hollywood, where Kim Kardashian has once again done nothing of importance. You know, the Bermuda Triangle is one of the biggest mysteries in the world, and people have been trying to fathom it for decades. Get it? Fathom it? Wait, there's more! This region, shaped in the form of a triangle, is situated in the North Atlantic Ocean between Miami, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. The Bermuda Triangle, often called the Devil's Triangle, is infamous due to numerous mysterious and inexplicable disappearances that have happened there throughout the centuries. More than 150 planes, cargo ships, and smaller vessels have met their demise in this cursed area. And, well, a couple of years ago, scientists stated that they'd found the reason for these bizarre vanishings. The latest discovery may shed a different light on the internal enigma. Now, before you get to know the answer to the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle, remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. This way, you'll always be the first to learn about all the updates that appear daily on the Bright Side of Life. So, if you thought that baffling ship disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle were a thing of the past, think again. Even with modern technology and communication systems, vessels still keep vanishing. The most recent accident was also the most disastrous for the last 30 years, and it happened on October 1, 2015. That day, the huge cargo ship SS El Faro went missing in the area of the Bermuda Triangle. It was a 790-foot vessel carrying numerous containers, vehicles, and trailers. It departed from Jacksonville, Florida with a crew of 33 people and was heading for Puerto Rico. At the same time, a powerful tropical storm materialized hundreds of miles away. After some time, it reached the SS El Faro and started to circle the ship. After that, no word or signal was received from the crew. Unexpectedly, the hurricane calmed down as suddenly as it started. The search continued for weeks, and the SS El Faro was finally spotted. It was positioned upright and in one piece at a depth of 15,000 feet in the Atlantic. The search party found no trace of the crew. In the summer of 2003, Frank and Romina Leone, a newly married couple, decided to go fishing on their spick-and-span 16-foot boat. They left Boynton Beach in Florida, but never came back. After several days of constant searching, the U.S. Coast Guard stopped the rescue mission. The cargo freight Genesis left the port of Spain in 1999 and was headed for St. Vincent in the Caribbean Sea. Its cargo weighed 465 tons and included bricks, concrete slabs, and water tanks. At some point, a vessel that was sailing nearby got a distress call from Genesis. The crew reported they had problems with the bilge pump. After this desperate call for help, communications were lost. Despite a U.S. Coast Guard search that covered 33,000 square miles, the ship was never seen again. The 522-foot cargo ship SS Poet left Philadelphia on October 24, 1980. It was heading for Egypt, carrying corn and 34 crew members. The ship's skipper had spent 41 years of his life at sea, and the rest of the crew were just as experienced. A day after the ship had left on what turned out to be its last voyage, a bizarre storm with 30-foot-high waves and powerful winds covered the North Atlantic. And while the SS Poet was used to much worse weather conditions, it disappeared without a trace. There was a large-scale search involving nine aircraft and covering nearly 400,000 square miles. It lasted 10 days, but failed to spot anything at all that could betray the location of the missing ship. These are just a few of the tragedies closely connected with the Devil's Triangle. 
For years, people had been theorizing about what forces might stand behind the catastrophes until scientists claimed to have unveiled the mystery. The most popular theories have been as follows. Methane gas Some researchers believe that ships and planes crash and disappear in the area due to methane gas. And it has indeed been proved that there are massive stores of this gas in some areas of the ocean floor. Therefore, when gas is released into the water, the process can sink ships and make planes crash. Potentially, it could happen so quickly that a craft in distress wouldn't have time to send an SOS. Wormholes This theory is preferred by those who love sci-fi. In short, a wormhole is a space-time shortcut. While the existence of wormholes hasn't been proven yet, this doesn't stop some people from believing that this phenomenon is what causes vanishings in the Bermuda Triangle. Water spouts Now, water spouts, or more simply, tornadoes at sea, are said to have been spotted in the Bermuda Triangle. This weather phenomenon sucks water many feet up into the air. Potentially, this can make a ship disappear with eerie ease. A hole in the electromagnetic forces of the planet Compasses are reported to malfunction in the Bermuda Triangle. This place is one of the few on Earth where compasses have problems pointing north. This can lead to sailors and pilots going off their course. Human error well, this theory sounds rather disappointing for those who love mysteries. However, some people are sure that all the crashes and disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle happen due to people's mistakes. There are too many confusing islands that are hard to distinguish from one another, as well as difficult weather conditions. Aliens Yep, of course, no mystery can exist without an explanation of alien interference. It's just too convenient to blame disappearances on extraterrestrial forces. Though why aliens would choose exactly this area for their abductions remains unknown. Well, this is all well and good, but none of these theories has been fortified with evidence. On the other hand, the most recent findings of scientists allow them to claim that the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle has finally been solved. The culprits are huge sea monsters. <laughs> but when we say monsters, we don't mean living creatures. They are enormous rogue waves that were believed to be a myth. Scientists denied the existence of rogue waves as a natural phenomenon until 1995. That was the year when a gigantic 61-foot high wave that later got the name the Dropner Wave was spotted via a satellite. Rogue waves are terrifying and anomalous. They are massive walls of water that move across the ocean. You will never wish to encounter a rogue wave when at sea, as it easily wipes out anything it comes across. Rogue waves can have a force of 9 metric tons per square foot. To compare, the average 40-foot high wave has a force of only 0.5 metric tons per square foot. While rogue waves were considered a rarity whose existence was doubted, they may be much more common than scientists had previously believed. Wolfgang Rosenthal is a scientist from Germany who assisted the European Space Agency in the research of rogue waves with the use of a radar satellite. He says that at any given moment, about 10 of these terrifying giants are moving somewhere in the oceans. Rogue waves are completely different from tsunamis induced by earthquakes. The latter are almost invisible at sea, but when they reach the shore, they sweep away everything that's in their way. As for rogue waves, they almost never come close to land. These giants can reach a whopping 82 feet, which is the size of an 8-story building. But that's not the limit. According to scientists' calculations, the theoretical maximum of a rogue wave could be 198 feet. That's higher than the Capitol Rotunda in Washington, D.C. 
But such a wave is yet to be seen. Large rogue waves are usually about 100 feet high. One more extremely dangerous thing about rogue waves is holes in the sea. These are troughs that precede giant waves. For a ship, the consequences of such a plunge will most likely be catastrophic. After researchers from all over the world accepted the fact that rogue waves indeed existed, they started to develop research strategies and discuss their findings. It turned out that one of the regions where rogue waves were most likely to appear was the Gulf Stream off the eastern United States, exactly where it flows through the Bermuda Triangle. Rogue waves spring up in the open ocean as if from nowhere. But in fact, lots of small waves gather into a giant one, which then sucks water and energy from those surrounding it. These bizarre waves can also appear after the collision of two wave systems moving perpendicular to each other. The Bermuda Triangle, in this case, has all the necessary conditions for the appearance of rogue waves. There are storms from the north and south colliding together, and researchers have measured waves as high as 100 feet there. This might also explain why ships don't send out any distress signals. They just don't have enough time. After all, rogue waves pop up out of the blue. The only thing that remains unclear is that the existence of rogue waves doesn't explain vanishing planes. But let's wait and see. The research is ongoing. So, do you believe that rogue waves cause all the turmoil in the Bermuda Triangle? Or are you a supporter of another theory? <laughs> like aliens. Well, tell us all about it in the comments below. And if you love mysteries as much as we do, press the like button. See you next time!